this lecture i'll discuss about the first classification of the semiconductors based on its energy band structure versus the propagation constant that is direct band gap semiconductors and indirect band gap semiconductors or we can simply say direct semiconductors and indirect semiconductors based on this concept we may get questions in the gate exam right so they may ask so which semiconductor is belong to direct semiconductors or indirect semiconductors group now we will see how to classify direct and indirect band gap semiconductors based on its energy band structures so these uh, diagrams are drawn between the energy levels versus the propagation constant k now what is this propagation constant so whenever an electron is moving from higher energy level to the lower energy level so it requires some momentum right that momentum is dependent on the propagation constant k now how to see this uh, indirect and uh, direct band gap semiconductor is if i see this is a connection band this is like a valence band if i see this energy level is a minimum energy level of this connection band and this one is maximum energy level of the connection band in direct band gap semiconductors the minimum of the connection band and the man maximum of the valence band is occurring at the same propagation constant k that is there is no momentum is like see at k is equal to zero both are at the same point right so there is no momentum is required for the electron to fall from the conduction band to the valence band it is directly fall from conduction band to the valence band without any momentum so whenever it is falling so it will radiate the energy in the photon in the form of light or we can say photon of light right but whereas in indirect band gap semiconductors if we see the minimum of the connection band the minimum energy level of the connection band is occurring at the different value of k compared to the maximum uh, energy level of the valence band see this is at k equal to 0 this is the k equal to some different value maybe 1 or 2 now if the electron is try to move from this conduction band minimum conduction band to the valence band so it requires some momentum that is different k value so first it will go to some defect state then from that uh, defect state it will uh, come to the conduction uh, what we call valence band now whenever it is uh, having some deflection right so it will radiate the energy in the form of heat in the lattice itself right so that is happens in the indirect band gap semiconductors so that is the reason this uh, direct band gap semiconductors will be used in the light emitting diodes or lasers because it is radiating the energy in the form of light because it is a direct fall from the connection band to the valence band without change of any momentum of the electron but here there is a moment of electron into the some deflection state then from that defect state or the from that it is falling to the valence band so what are this direct band gap semiconductors examples are these are the direct band gap semiconductors example with uh, energy gaps also so these are all the compound elements that is gallium arsenide with energy gap as 1.43 electron so energy gap is between connection band versus the valence band and this is gallium nitride what is the energy gap is 3.4 electron volt and the gallium antimonide 0.7 electron volt is the energy gap and uh, indium phosphide is 1.35 electron volt indium arsenic 0.36 electron volt is the energy gap between conduction band and valence band and this is indium antimonide and the energy gap is 0.18 electron volts these are the some examples of the direct band gap semiconductors and these semiconductors will be used in the manufacturing of the light emitting diodes and lasers right so because of this direct band gap or uh, these uh, electrons are moving or are falling from directly connection band to the valence band without any momentum so it will uh, emit the radiation or it will be emit the energy in the form of light or photon of light now these are the examples of indirect band gap semiconductors so these two we know the semiconductors which will be used in the uh, normal diode manufacturing right so for switching applications etc so what are the energy gaps 1.11 electron volt and germanium is 0.72 electron volt so some uh, what you call compounds uh, element that is silicon carbide the energy gap is 2.86 electron volt and these are some more uh, compound elements right and see all these energy gaps at 
थ्री हंड्रेड और वी कैन से रूम टेम्परेचर और और थ्री एट थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री केल्विन थ्री हंड्रेड केल्विन राइट सो दिस इज अबाउट द डायरेक्ट बैंड गैप सेमी कंडक्टर्स एंड इनडायरेक्ट बैंड गैप सेमी कंडक्टर्स